Hi all, hope you've had a blessed day today. Today I'd like to talk about 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you, always having all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance for every good work. We pray to God for all sorts of blessings. We pray for him to bless us in health. We pray for him to bless us in, in happiness, in love, in wealth. We pray for him for a lot of things. And I would say more than half our prayers are asking him for something. But that's okay. Because Jesus said that we should ask for things in our prayers. Because we all know that anything good in our life, that beautiful home you own, that beautiful car that you own, the beautiful children you have, that nice fat bank account that you have, that all comes from God. So if it all comes from God, is it really your own? The answer is no. Because everything that comes from God is a gift and ultimately should be used for his glory. Our talents, our resources, our money are opportunities to give back to God and his children. And God abundantly, if you read this verse, he abundantly blesses those who are generous with all their resources, doing good for others. Now, God continues to bless us, not so that we can be comfortable, not so that we can live cushy lives and big homes and hire maids and butlers and you know have a, a load of cars in the driveway. That, that's not what God blesses us for. He blesses us so that we would be selfless in giving back to his children. Now, there are hundreds of ways we can give back to God and his children. And you can start by regularly tithing to, to your church. You know, the Bible is very clear. 10% of everything you earn goes back to God. You start there. That's number one. Because that's an investment in the work that God does here on earth. Second, those who are in financial need, we can give to them as well. We can also be generous and give of our time. And if there's anything else you could think of that you can use to serve God and others, please do so. When you pray for God to bestow a blessing on you, think about how you're going to use that blessing to help others. Think about whether you have been helping others. When was the last time someone asked you for help, put their hand out, and you turned away simply because you felt it was an obligation or you felt not right about it, whatever your reason was, you turned away a child of God. Now consider how that makes God feel, that he blessed you with something, you were able to help someone and you didn't. Now think about what steps you can take to change that perspective, where it doesn't feel like an obligation where you won't, where you'll feel good about it. Remember, God loves a cheerful giver, and that's what we should all be. When you turn your heart around and you give without thinking about it, you watch the blessings unfold. God will bless you a hundredfold because he loves a joyful 
giver. God bless you all.